Good morning. It's Thursday morning, December the 22nd, 2022. And it's a joy to be able to share some principles with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And we're going to read this morning the last verse of Proverbs chapter 30, which is verse 33. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 33 says, Surely the churning of milk bringeth forth butter, and the wringing of the nose bringeth forth blood. So the forcing of wrath bringeth forth strife. And it's not God's will that a person would lose his or her temper. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ himself exercised what we could call righteous indignation. It was righteous wrath when he, when he chased the money changers out of the temple at the beginning of his ministry and then again at the end of his ministry. But the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, not to let the sun go down upon your wrath and be angry, but don't sin. And a person cannot, cannot help but become wrathful at times over the, over the course of this life, the course of this world, the direction that our world takes. And God is stirred in wrath many times by what people do or what people say, how they conduct themselves. The Word of God teaches us the, about the wrath of God, but God never sins, and we, not, we ought not to sin either. And the Bible talks about uh, the forcing of wrath, bringing forth strife, there in verse 33 of Proverbs chapter 30, and a person should be controlled even though he be or she be wrathful or angry. And and strife is a result, the Bible says that the angry person sows up strife in Proverbs 15, 18 speaks of this. Or a person who is not under control will be one who stirs up strife. And strife should not be the result of righteous wrath. If it's controlled, if there's not sin involved, there won't be strife involved. And so we, we um, endeavor to be controlled of the Spirit of God, and if the Holy Spirit uh, stirs us up and causes us to be angry about something, we'll understand and we will be assured that there won't be any sin involved there because the Spirit of God will not cause unchecked wrathfulness and stirred up wrath, forcing wrath that stirs up strife to occur. We should just be uh, collected and committed to the Lord, that he would be in control of our spirit, of our attitudes, and that they would not get away from themselves or cause us to sin with the extreme attitudes that sometimes come. God help you to be controlled in your spirit, under the control of the Spirit of God. God bless you today.